As we all might not be aware of, but most of us know, in the series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, characters don't really have a set color scheme as much as they're like two-faced friends. They wear whatever's best for the scene. This leads to issues with adapting the characters as no one is really certain what they actually look like. This is also true for my ex-wife. But no character in the series has gotten a worse than the stand of Jotaro Kujo, Star Platinum. I'm sure those familiar to JoJo needs no introduction to Star Platinum. He's the stand of the third protagonist in the series, Jotaro Kujo, and is mostly considered one of the stronger stands in the series. Even if his stand can't be bothered to use its original main ability, more piggybacking the ability of his great great uncle stand. But it seems like in every medium Star Platinum is bound to, he looks different. It could be as simple as just slightly alterating shades of purple or green, or big changes like complete color scheme overhauls. He can't seem to catch a break. But today, I was stupid enough to track down every notable or interesting ones to me and give my short opinions on them. And at the end, I reveal my favorite. Now, when I say quick, I mean most of these might have some maybe a sentence or two long. I just don't want to make sure I die in editing this. But without further ado, let's get into the design you're probably thinking about and the one from its introduction in Stardust Crusaders. By the way, welcome back to reviewing redesign. Now, for your convenience, I'll be showing an image of the design and my artistic rendition. And if you don't understand wrong, I'm saying I recolored one drawing to fit the design. Skip it up and up. Now, the part three design is interesting in that it's ugly as piss and deserves to die. But the fan base seems to like it. The shoulder pads are just too desaturated. The purple can't be bothered to be visually interesting at all. The scarf is as obnoxious as my ex-wife. One out of five. Reminds me of my days in Vietnam and not in a good way. Part four, or as I refer to call him, Funk Platinum, this design is real funky. It isn't like part three at all, for reasons that can't be bothered to define, but it's just too bright. It doesn't feel like it has anything to anchor it down. A step up from part three, but not anything I drop my jaw to. Three out of five. Reminds me of this doodle I did in Vietnam that I was proud of at the time, but now I kind of hate it and look down on it. Part six. Now, I haven't read ahead to part six, but I'm liking this design already. I don't know what about this design looks better to me. Maybe it's the piss-colored accents or the fact that the blue seems like there's a hint of green in there, but I can't really put my finger on what's different about it or how the green was implemented. I find this design visually appealing more than the last two and in a way I can't describe. Four out of five, reminds me of this time in Vietnam when I chopped out a tree and the entire Vietnamese army just crawled out of it. Part eight. Now this is a weird one, because Star Platinum isn't per se in Part 8. This drawing was just made while Rocky was making Part 8. I love this design, to be honest. I like the way the cyan and golden yellow go together great, just like me and never being actually able to enter the realm of reality. And I like the introduction of white into the design. 5 out of 5. Reminds me of that time I won this Vietnam War single-handedly. Manga. An underrated classic. It's perfect. The black gloves ground it and the purple are saturating in a pleasing shade. With its darker variance to accent, it works great with the yellow armor. And this design used in the coloring scans of the manga. So I'm declaring it the canon one for the manga, and I don't care if you have anything to say about it. Five out of five reminds me of the way my ex-wife looked at me before she met Brad. How about this one? I call it bold and brown. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Awful and deserves to die. 0.5 out of 5 reminds me of my ex-wife as she is now. Staying on the green trend, we have what I dub Green 2. Better than it deserves to be and is probably the best variant of Green Star Platinum. 4 out of 5 gets to live for today. Green 3. Okay, this design is weird. Nothing is displeasing about the color scheme, I just find it ugly in a way I can't describe. I think it's the shade of greens. 2 out of 5 reminds me of that girl in science class who is technically attractive, but I'm just not into it. Okay, so remember that bold and brash bit? This is the design that was already in the trash underneath the normal green star platinum. 0 out of 5, get it out of my sight. Blue star platinum. Way better than it has the right to be. The contrast actually works with the red scarf, and the way that the darker and the lighter blues work with each other is very interesting. A surprising 3 out of 5. I'm not sure what to make of it. It's worse than Vietnam, but better than my ex-wife. 
OVA. This design is only favored by the hipsters who say the OVA is an improvement upon normal Stardust Crusaders. It's an average design that is classed out by its peers, but it isn't that bad. 2.5 out of 5. I just don't have a joke for this one, so uh... Okay, I ask you, wholeheartedly, who? Who thought gray, warm purple, and orange would do well? It's just wrong. It's ugly. It's not the like platinum. It's worse, and it deserves to die. Zero out of five. You know, I never thought the embodiment of Jodoro's fighting spirit would be a Hollywood street performer. Three out of five. Maybe gold, but isn't worth much. You know, purple two really isn't all that much of note. What is it? It's purple, it's black, and white. But does it want to go all the way so gold is still kind of in there? The only memorable thing about it is that in the drawing I accidentally made one of the lines gold. 3 out of 5, not offensive, but probably won't be used anywhere outside of this merchandise. Okay, this design looked at blue and manga, and wanted to be both of them. It wanted to be purple, but it also wanted the interesting contrast between the shades of the same color. It ends up with this boring mess. 2 out of 5, belongs with the wall and my ex-wife. Alrighty, now's all the Star Platinum designs I could find of note. Of course, if you search, you'll find more, but I don't really care that much for them. Now, my favorite is probably the Part 8 design. Um, I just like the contrast, as I said. Oh, by the way, this is all subjective. Probably should have mentioned that earlier, shouldn't I? Eh, I'll probably have fun reading people the comments from people that posted before they finished the video. Have a lovely day.